What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master back here on this Thursday, September 28th, 2023. 10.55 a.m. here, California time. Latest quake shows a 5.9 earthquake into the area of the Curl Kamachaka Trench. This area has been awfully quiet here recently. Still waiting for some larger scale movement, but uh, almost a six-pointer coming into the area as we speak um i'm not for sure if this uh got picked up here on one of these stations or not i don't unfortunately i don't have any japan stations uh keyed up here on this chart but uh looks like things picking up here slightly across this area we did see a six pointer in our watch zone remember yesterday been talking about this activity bouncing back and forth over this region well it finally got hit overnight well i should say early this morning 6.1 in the vanuatu area so filling in the gap, that seismic gap, that seismic quiet zone getting filled in. It never lasts for long when you always have activity bouncing back and forth over it. Well, eventually it catches up. So 6.1 coming in, 127 kilometers deep uh, in the Vaduatu area just outside the Solomon Islands. Also another earthquake coming in here to the Philippines at 4.9. This one coming in within the last hour, 36 kilometers deep. Now the EMSC is reporting this 5.9. Let's see exactly what they have on it. They're always, almost the always uh, the first ones to report on it as far as uh, an earthquake goes, but I don't know. Is it, looks like it disappeared now. Let's see what we got. There it is. That's kind of weird. <laughs> 5.8 Curl Islands. Uh, USGS not picking up on it yet, I don't believe. Let me double check. Yeah, so it, it will take them a little bit to pick up on that. Either way, activity stirring up today. Looks like it could be a busy day in terms of plate tectonics out here. Uh, kind of shifted over here to the west. A lot of pressure gradients going on here across this plate boundary. Pretty good cluster of activity yesterday and today into the Banda Sea uh, and Indonesia Islands area. All seeing slight uptick. Um, further back behind this area, we'll probably see some movement fill in once again. Once adjustment does take place here, uh, and it looks like uh, we got further adjustment here across the western uh, areas of this plate boundary and up along the Filipino plate, we should see activity fill back in with that bouncing back and forth effect uh, now that we're getting movement here. And also uh, further to the west, we should see things kick back up here. Uh, New Zealand, not a whole lot showing up here on the USGS map. As uh, far as, well, let's see. It looks like there's some threes down there. Maybe a maybe a four-pointer there in that mix around New Zealand. Uh, let's double check that here real quick and see what we have across the uh, GeoNet servers on this fine Thursday. Uh, let's see. Most of this looks like some smaller earthquake activity. 4.7 two days ago. Earthquake drums. Let's see what we have. Technically, not a whole lot showing up here on this map. Looks like a little bit of activity overnight. Uh, that's going to be South Island area, but one of these seismograph signatures here. But overall, it looks like um, quiet for now across New Zealand. Not completely, but uh, uh, not entirely active either. They can get quite active there across New Zealand, but uh, been awfully quiet for the most part. All right, uh, West Coast area, not seeing any major uptick in activity out here. A couple handful of smaller quakes in the area of Southern Cal. And Northern California, aside from this Calpine hydrothermal operations here, which is very typical to see this much earthquake activity there around the Cobb Mountain area. This is, uh, again, uh, related to the uh, energy production there at the calpine hydrothermal plants and up into the pacific northwest a handful of earthquakes there across the uh, area of the cascades and a little bit of movement up here around mount rainier very small microquake activity there in that region uh, one earthquake outside of tucson arizona 3.1 coming in earlier this morning about 350 or so and uh, getting some uh Activity out in the oil fields of Texas once again. This is very common out here to see. Uh, if you look closer upon a closer inspection, you'll see that there's wastewater 
disposal facilities. That's what these little ponds are out there in the desert of Texas with uh, some tanks out there as well. So a lot of oil fields, a lot of earthquakes, hand in hand. Oklahoma, Texas, that's going to be, uh, looks like that's kicking up here today. Puerto Rico, handful of earthquakes here in the last 24 hours, including a 4.2 in the Dominican Republic area. That earthquake coming in pretty deep, 103 kilometers deep here. A couple different troughs in this area uh, with this type of movement here, deeper activity. Could watch for some further movement up here towards the surface areas in the next couple days or so. South America, not a whole lot going on. A couple fours out there, it looks like. Let's check out the Earthquake 3D Globe. See what we have here for South America. Relatively quiet, only a uh, bunch of twos and threes, but that's very typical there for the subduction zone. Some movement there into, uh, looks like the uh, Mexico area, possibly Guatemala region here with that uh, white ring indicating some newer activity. Let's bring these down a little bit. 4.0. Looks like that's uh, just around the uh, Mexico area. All right, uh, Alaska, not seeing too much activity. This is generally quiet right now. Uh, looks like they've downgraded that 5-pointer to a 5.7. Uh, USGS picking up on that now, finally, uh, as a 5.8. <laughs> so a little bit of bouncing back and forth there in the uh, agencies uh, reporting that uh, magnitude there. But things kicking up here across the Philippines. Got two earthquakes here in the last hour up and down this plate boundary, relatively shallow, so... Uh, it looks as though this six-pointer here this morning triggered a domino effect, so to speak. Well, it's I wouldn't call it domino effect, but this uh, plate movement, general plate stress builds uh, following some large-scale movement out here. So keep an eye on this area of the Western Pacific. Uh, and again, can't help but uh, um, we'll pro probably see some activity bouncing back and forth here between uh, the western pacific and some deeper movement potentially out here again across the tonga trench it always seems to work that way in this area so just be on guard and uh, again california not a whole lot going on out there i don't see any major unusual activity stirring up for now space weather activity i got pretty busy day so i gotta just keep this somewhat short um dwindling away like dust in the wind we only seen, uh, looks like maybe a little C flare. Oh, peeked up into the M flare here, just barely, a really quick M flare overnight. Um, see where this is coming from. Let's see what we got flaring out here. A lot of times I'll use this UV ray, this UV filter of the sun to see bright areas that may be flaring. And it looks like it possibly coming from one of these areas across the western limb of the sun. Not a whole lot of flaring, at least from what I can tell here on the Earth-facing side. Looking at the magnetogram image, these have uh, dissipated quite rapidly. And we're left with, uh, well, a mess of sunspots, but really nothing of uh, all that concern. Maybe down here, this area looks a little complex within this core. Notice the intermixing here of all the different colors in close proximity. That's what you're looking for uh, when it comes to the... Uh, uh, potential dynamic there of some flaring so right now 99% uh, chance for a C flare M flare at 35 X flare 10% chance and we're not really seeing any major expected auroras slight um, activity occurring there on the dark side of the earth nothing major though real quick look at the storm prediction center here well I, I just see general thunderstorm activity. There's not even any categories here for any type of tornado, wind, hail, nothing. So just uh, thunderstorms out there. I guess the main threat out there would be lightning, right? Within those thunderstorms, but for severe weather potential, there's not a whole lot. Enjoy your Thursday. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on. Have a good one, folks. Peace out.